Lung cancer is a serious health issue, especially for seniors. As we age, our risk of developing this disease increases. This is due to a number of factors, including longer exposure to carcinogens and age-related changes in our bodies. It's important to understand these risks so we can take steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Early detection is key in fighting lung cancer. We must be aware of the signs and symptoms and seek medical attention promptly if we notice any changes in our health. This essay will explore the unique challenges of lung cancer in seniors. We will discuss risk factors, treatment complexities, and the importance of compassionate care. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding this disease, we can make informed decisions about our health and well being. Age is a significant risk factor for lung cancer. The longer we live, the more time our bodies have been exposed to cancer causing agents. This accumulation of exposure increases the likelihood of cells becoming damaged and potentially turning cancerous. Our cells are constantly repairing themselves, but this process becomes less efficient as we age. This means that damage is more likely to accumulate, increasing the risk of cancer development. Additionally, the immune system weakens with age, making it less effective at identifying and destroying cancerous cells. This decline in immune function further contributes to the increased vulnerability of seniors to lung cancer. It's crucial to remember that age is just one piece of the puzzle. While it increases our risk, it doesn't guarantee that we will develop lung cancer. Many other factors play a role and understanding them can empower us to make healthy choices. Smoking is the leading cause of lung cancer, accounting for a significant majority of cases. The toxins in cigarette smoke damage the DNA in our lung cells, increasing the risk of these cells becoming cancerous. Years of smoking take a toll on our lungs. Even if you quit years ago, your risk of lung cancer remains elevated compared to someone who never smoked. Occupational hazards also play a role. Exposure to certain substances like asbestos, arsenic, and radon can significantly increase lung cancer risk. These exposures are often linked to specific professions such as construction, mining, and manufacturing. If you have a history of smoking or occupational exposure to carcinogens, it is crucial to talk to your doctor about lung cancer screening. Early detection can significantly improve treatment outcomes. Our genes play a role in our susceptibility to various diseases, including lung cancer. Some individuals inherit gene mutations that make them more likely to develop certain cancers. Family history is an important indicator. If you have a parent, sibling, or child who has had lung cancer, you may be at increased risk. This is especially true if your relative was diagnosed at a younger age. Genetic testing can provide insights into your individual risk factors. However, it's important to note that having a genetic predisposition doesn't guarantee that you will develop lung cancer. It simply means you may be at a higher risk than someone without that genetic makeup. Understanding your family history and discussing genetic testing options with your doctor can provide valuable information for personalized cancer prevention strategies. While some risk factors like genetics and age are beyond our control, lifestyle choices can significantly influence our lung health. Maintaining a healthy weight, eating a balanced diet, and engaging in regular physical activity can bolster our body's natural defenses against cancer. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains provides antioxidants that help protect our cells from damage. 
Regular exercise improves circulation and strengthens the immune system, making it more efficient at identifying and eliminating cancerous cells. Conversely, a sedentary lifestyle, poor diet, and obesity can weaken the body's defenses and increase the risk of developing various health problems, including lung cancer. Making healthy choices is an investment in our long-term health and well-being. The mind-body connection, stress, depression, and lung cancer. The impact of stress and depression on our overall health is well documented. These factors can weaken the immune system, making us more susceptible to various illnesses, including cancer. Chronic stress triggers the release of hormones that can suppress immune function, making it harder for our bodies to fight off disease. Depression, too, can have a negative impact on our immune system, increasing our vulnerability to infections and potentially contributing to cancer development. Managing stress and addressing mental health concerns are crucial for maintaining overall well-being. Engaging in activities like meditation, yoga, or spending time in nature can help reduce stress levels. Seeking professional help for mental health concerns is important for both our emotional and physical health. Navigating treatment. Challenges for seniors with lung cancer. Treating lung cancer in seniors presents unique challenges. Older adults often have other health conditions known as comorbidities that can complicate treatment decisions and increase the risk of side effects. Additionally, age-related changes in the body can affect how well a person tolerates certain treatments. Seniors may be more susceptible to side effects from chemotherapy or radiation, requiring careful monitoring and dose adjustments. Furthermore, frailty and reduced functional status in some seniors can pose challenges for undergoing surgery or other intensive treatments. It is crucial to have open and honest conversations with your healthcare team about your overall health status, treatment goals, and any concerns you may have. Compassionate care. Addressing end of life concerns. For some seniors with lung cancer, especially those diagnosed at a later stage, treatment may focus on palliative care. Palliative care aims to improve quality of life by managing symptoms, providing emotional support, and addressing spiritual needs. It is essential to have open and honest conversations with loved ones and healthcare providers about end of life wishes. Advance care planning including documenting preferences for medical interventions and designating a healthcare proxy ensures that your wishes are respected. Palliative care and hospice services provide invaluable support to patients and their families during this difficult time. These services focus on comfort, dignity, and emotional well-being allowing individuals to live their final days with peace and surrounded by love. Support and hope. Effective lung cancer care for seniors requires a comprehensive and compassionate approach. Early detection through regular screenings for high-risk individuals is crucial for improving treatment outcomes. A multidisciplinary team of healthcare professionals, including oncologists, pulmonologists, nurses, social workers, and therapists, can address the complex needs of senior patients. Open communication between the patient, their loved ones, and the healthcare team is essential for making informed decisions about treatment options and goals of care. Support groups and counseling services can provide emotional support and coping strategies for patients and their families. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Many resources and support systems are available to help you navigate the challenges of lung cancer. Living a healthy lifestyle, managing stress, and staying connected with loved ones 
can improve overall well-being and quality of life regardless of the stage of your cancer journey. There is always hope and focusing on the positive can make a world of difference.